Good evening and welcome to the Dr. Hutch Show, Plan for Impact. I'm Dr. J.L. Hutchison Jr. and I thank you for joining this, us this evening on 1220 Beyond the Word. And I'm Evangelist Elaine P. Jones, co-host. Today we will be discussing the topic, Making a List of Priorities, March 23rd, 2014, step number five. Oh, yes. Yeah. Step number five. Uh, this is our step number five. Last week we talked about step four is building a team, putting people together as a group so that you can achieve the things that God has for you. And because there's always somebody that comes into your life that makes an impact, has an influence. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Step number three, the week before we talked about overcoming problems and family, those issues that you have people that knew you all your life sometimes it's hard for them to see you in another position or mm -hmm. achieving things that you have never done before okay. step number uh, two basically setting a timeline putting things down on paper making sure that you have a timeline putting dates with things and putting some action behind it mm -hmm. and uh, step one was basically identifying your goals writing those things down thinking about the things that's important to you that can help you do the things that's needed i'm um, excited about today because uh making a list of your priorities and in some it, it may be kind of confusing and uh, may not have a complete understanding of what that's all about mm -hmm. it's very important right because it's uh it, it takes me back to when i was a a teenager Mm -hmm. And I uh, was approaching the uh, situation of making decisions in my life for my own being, uh, leaving the home, uh, being able to set some guidelines for my life and my mm -hmm. career and what I wanted to do, what was important to me. And as I started to realize, you know, as a young person, going to school, you were building skills and getting knowledge and and school work became important okay it used to be that i just went to school because that was something that i did mm -hmm. and i you know it was just a routine thing something that your mom made you do <laughs> yeah yeah you can say that but then as i got older i started to realize that hey i'm going to be leaving the nest i'm going to have to have a family i'm going to be i'm gonna to have to make my own income how mm -hmm. am i going to feed myself you know uh so all those things became important so i started thinking about the skills and what was needed i started thinking about my experience which i didn't have what direction i was going to go i was looking at things that never before that i actually took seriously mm -hmm. i had to realize that a God has given me a gift. He's given me some things that I can do. You know, I always wanted to sing, but I didn't have the voice to sing as I got older. When I was younger, yeah, it was okay. I can, you know, but when my voice starts changing, I was in the same singer that I used to be. You know, and and I want people to understand today that you can see yourself before in the future. Mm -hmm. Before things happen in your life, right now, you can actually prepare yourself, and God will help you do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Adam and Eve, he helped prepare them. Moses and Aaron, he helped prepare them. Noah, he helped prepare them for the things. God will help you prepare yourself because making a list of your priorities is things that's important to you, mm -hmm. that's important to God, but also things that you enjoy doing. God is never going to give us something that's boring. He's going to give us the full enjoyment of the mm -hmm. things that we do and helping people or whatever that may be and whatever your career whatever your calling may be God will help you and we're going to break that down we're going to break the skills down we're going to break the knowledge down because at that time when I was at the age of 16 years old 15 to 16 I wanted to make sure that I was making the right moves that I was making the right decisions because any and everything that I did from that point on would impact my life. Right. And 
and I needed to do something. Yeah, at the time, I, I, I didn't have that many skills. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know exactly what career I wanted to go into. So, and then growing up as a young black male, it became confusing mm -hmm. because it really didn't have any leadership pointing me in the direction of where I should go. So it was a thing where I had to be like Benjamin Franklin. I had to self-educate myself. I had to take the time and start reading, mm -hmm. start in, enjoying reading. Instead, mm -hmm. I used to be the kind of person I would read for, I couldn't even read for 10 or 15 minutes. You know, mm -hmm. you know, and then I had to build on that. It was hard, mm -hmm. but I had to build on it. So that's, uh, you know, I want you to share um, uh, Proverbs uh, uh, chapter one, verse seven through eleven with us. Could you uh, do that, Evangelist Elaine? Sure. Proverbs one, seven through eleven, and it says, "The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction." My son, hear the instruction of your father, and do not forsake the law of your mother, for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Yeah, so... The beginning mm -hmm. of wisdom is with God, but also there's influence in your life with your friends. Mm -hmm. Your friends may say, come on, let's go do this. You may think it's fun, but you may find yourself in trouble, trouble a bunch of folly. Mm -hmm. And it takes discipline. One of the key things where most men males especially black male mm -hmm. have an issue with is discipline yes discipline is being able to say no mm -hmm. when you know that it's not part of your priority mm -hmm. it's not part of the list of the things that you want to do mm -hmm. and it can jeopardize your future going with somebody somewhere getting in the car doing things uh, having a relationship with somebody that you know that's not going to that doesn't have your best interest at heart mm -hmm. will deter you from the direction that God has for you right. and sometimes God puts us into position when we have our arrogance and mm -hmm. he makes he put us in a situation where we wander around like mm -hmm. the Israelites they went wandered around for 40 years they mm -hmm. walked back and forth thinking that they were on their way to the promised land, right. not knowing that they were going in circles. Mm -hmm. But God gave the direction to the children and passed it down to the next generation. Right. See, sometimes, folks, things can happen to you where if you if it's not a priority to you, but mm -hmm. it's a priority to God, he will skip you and pass it down to your children's children. Mm -hmm. And if you're not going to be obedient, because we all were born for purpose. Right. See, no one has been put on this earth without purpose. Amen. Think I about agree. it. Because when you really think about it, it, people and, and, and the value of people, uh, think about it. You got 500 million sperm cells and trying to fertilize one egg and one sperm fertilizes that one egg. Mm -hmm. That is a special thing. Mm -hmm. That's just like winning the lottery. And now that individual has done what? Has created a person. Mm -hmm. Now that person comes forth after nine months of incubation. Now that person is birthed into the world mm -hmm. for a purpose. Right. See, the process itself is lets you know mm -hmm. the importance of it and how the mother carries the baby and how the baby is in the ba in the womb mm -hmm. and then how the baby comes out with with arms and legs and mm -hmm. everything intact some don't but 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 God still has a purpose right that's true and the purpose is his priority right and that's what I want you to get to understand God has created you with his priority yes so as his priority you have to realize that 
your priority is in line with his priority. Yes. That's because important. because God will let me let me let me define skill. Skill. Mm-hmm. An ability and capacity to acquire through deliberate, systematic, and sustained effort to smoothly carry out activities, training and experience. So you do something repetitiously as far as like washing the dishes. Some people dis, uh, come up with a skill to to wash dishes. That was one of my things. And sweep the floor and iron clothes. I was the best ironer. I would iron clothes and I was great at doing it. And when I actually got a job, I, my, my job was um, a gopher. I would go for this, go for that. I worked at a law firm. And I would make copies and I would run errands, go get lunch and stuff. And and I called myself Copy Angelo. Mm -hmm. Copy Angelo, I can make a a copy look like an original. You know, I was so (laughs) great at it. You know, because at the time, working at the law firm, and when we went to file stuff at court, you couldn't have any spots or Mm -hmm. little black spots on the paper. It has to, the copy had to be uh, very clear clear mm-hmm. and pristine it had to be like the original mm-hmm. and it almost said you can't even tell the difference only but the signature as looking at the original and that was the skill that I had developed so I had took myself and said everything that I do I want to practice to be better mm-hmm. and what eventually happened as far as knowledge and let me give you the definition of knowledge knowledge is state or fact of knowing mm-hmm. understanding gain through experience or study Mm -hmm. so specific information about something studying the bible is so important to christians so that's why you study and you gain knowledge because it's a state of fact of knowing so you do know but you gain knowledge through your experience so action is required Mm -hmm. so as action is required you find yourself in the position where you have gained skills and knowledge, but what is needed for you to be able to do what God calls you to do? What we're going to do, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to define and dig into knowing God's purpose for our life. What is the quest that God has for us? This is Dr. Hutch, and we'll be right back. Dr. J.O. Hutchison, the host of the Dr. Hutch Show. And I'd like to thank you for uh, listening to my show, but I would like to tell you about my Seven Steps to Change Your Life, a program that I put together to impact your life and impact other people's lives. Elaine, could you tell them how you can sign up for that? Sure. Seven Steps to Change Your Life is an in-depth continuation of Dr. Hutchinson's training on RAW, which in fact takes you through each step of the training and really encourages you to get RAW in regard to your business and personal life while achieving the goals you have made for yourself and your business. For more information, contact Dr. Hutch International at 216-264-6214 or email elaine at drhutchinternational.com. Welcome back to the Dr. Hutch Show. I'm Dr. J.L. Hutchison, and welcome back to uh, the Dr. Hutch Show. We've been talking about making a list of priorities, step number five. Just before we left, we were on a commercial break. We were talking about what's needed, you know, knowing God's purpose in our life. When I was growing up, it was the thing where I knew about the Lord. I knew about him uh, because it was in our household. But one thing I did know, I didn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ myself. So I was in fear because here's something that I have learned all my life. And here I am about to go and go out into the world. But I didn't have a relationship with the Lord. So that knowledge and the wisdom that we had in our household, I needed to to embrace that. So uh, coming to know Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and um, 
was very important because how could I go on my life's quest mm -hmm. without knowing him? Right. So it's no guessing is allowed when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. You can't guess. You are required to seek the Lord. You are required because this is what happens, folks. What happens is that you get distracted. You tend to listen to things and hear things that other people are saying. But you have never and will not understand the capacity of their experience that they have had. That brought them to that conclusion of who they believe in and who they follow and what direction their life is. Because sometimes you can you can find and follow a confused fool anywhere. But you need to know that in order for you to fulfill God's quest in your life, you know that he is the one that has the map. He's the architect. And your experience that you have, you know, the experiences, the things that have happened to you become part of you. Mm -hmm. So you uh, may have uh, been to a school where you were the only um, uh, minority in the school mm -hmm. and you have went through that experience and nobody can take that away from you. One thing about G God has blessed us with with experience. Nobody can take that away from us. Right. Nobody can define your experience, but you mm -hmm. you interpret it according to what has happened to you right. what you like and what you don't like that's where priorities come into play mm -hmm. some people like certain things some people are allergic to mushrooms some people are allergic to strawberries because they have had that experience right. and things have happened and that could be a health issue but there also can be other trivia issues that you don't like certain things certain television shows, certain things, because you have experienced something. Mm -hmm. And when you experience things, it gives you a direction. Mm -hmm. Your life can be changed by where you live, too. Be careful about the decisions you make and where you go, because it can change your life. For living in Chicago to living in Ohio, from living in California to living in Ohio, things can change your life. Right. You see things different. You have experienced things different. Mm -hmm. and But God's gifting, God has given us a gift with purpose. And we have talents. Yes. But we need to believe God's gifts, his spiritual gift that he has given us. And understand that all this with your skills, your knowledge, and what you need and your experience... God takes this as like a big pot of gumbo. He's just stirring it up. He's stirring it up. And the thing is, what do you think of yourself? Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. After all that, after all, I don't care how old you are today, but un up to today, this day, tomorrow, you, you don't know about tomorrow because you never experienced tomorrow. But today, up to this day, mm -hmm. who do you think you are right now? Can you pinpoint what direction you're going? Can you pinpoint and say, hey, I am going here, I'm going there? You can't without God. Right. So making things a priority becomes important. And I got a lot of, um, a lot of clients and, I, and uh, a number of them are older than I am. And they ask me, they say, well, well Doc. I, I, I want to retire. I, I want, I'm about to retire. I may got a good 20 years. I may got a good 10 years. And and they don't know if they got that 10 or 20 years. Mm -hmm. So what they're trying to do is to fulfill some promises and some practices and some things that they have experienced to get some wealth so that they can get some things and do some things because it's not about the money it's about you no know, it is about the money because the money helps us get whatever it is that we desire right but the experience that people want to experience it comes through that avenue so if you think of yourself a certain way you'll betray yourself a certain way the way you dress the way you carry yourself 
what you say, how you say it, who you associate with, all that encumbers based on who, how people see you, mm-hmm. your reflection, you know, and my question to you, can you see yourself? Can you really see yourself? If you say what you see matters, but what God sees really matters. Mm-hmm. He wants the best for you, no matter what you think of yourself. You are unique. Overcoming your uniqueness, what we like, what makes us different, what makes Trayvon different than Tyrese, what makes Jermaine different than Anthony, what makes me different than uh, Elaine, what is it? We are all different. And our experiences and the things that we have and the knowledge that we have and the skills have brought us to this point in our life that we can broadcast this show to you from our home and reach you and connect with you and tell you of our experiences and give you a road map to help you come out of where you are. How did that happen? It would happen through the guidance of the Holy Spirit one. Through our experiences, through mm-hmm. our skills, mm-hmm. and the things that we needed to do to reach you tonight through our broadcast, which God has blessed us with to do so. And our children are the ones that are broadcasting this show. And how did they get to that experience? How did they get to this point? Mm-hmm. And it was based on how we run our household how the process is how we do things it has a lot to do with discipline it has a lot to do with the lord but what is a priority in our household (laughs) becomes a priority to our children and becomes a priority to our children will become a priority to their future children so Things live on just as us being Christians and understanding and following the Lord. God has blessed us with the Holy Spirit. He has blessed us with his word. And as his word, I'm going to let uh, Evangelist uh, Jones give us a heart to heart moment. Okay, Dr. Hutch, I want to share today from Psalms chapter, well, actually the 111th division of Psalms and verse 10 and that reads the wicked man will see and be vexed he will gnash his teeth and waste away the longings of the wicked will come to nothing I'm sorry that's the wrong verse I was in 112 I read the wrong verse. I would like to read for you this time. 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. And that just goes along with what you shared today about the beginning of wisdom. I like the way this uh, verse in the New Living Translation says, All who follow his precepts have good understanding. We need to understand. And all are getting, the Bible says, get an understanding. Knowledge all by itself is not enough. We need to also have an understanding. I like to think of it this way. This was something I heard some years ago. I heard someone say, knowledge is knowing what you should do. Wisdom is actually doing it. Mm. And, you know, we can know the right thing to do. We can know what our parents have taught us. But if we don't have a certain amount of wisdom in us, we still won't do it. So we need to uh, think, what are our priorities? Mm -hmm. Is doing what's right a priority? Is doing the things that we've learned and experienced and seen to be successful, is that our priority? Or do we just want to live life our own way, Mm -hmm. thinking that we know what's right and we can create our own way of success and wisdom? Or do we want to follow what has already been proven to be right? Yeah, because right now, um, 
this is a very important part in a lot of people's lives because a lot of people's lives fall or fail Mm -hmm. to make priorities in their life. You know, that's why you may see somebody walk in the street as a prostitute or somebody on drugs or somebody strung out or someone being promiscuous or these things because they never made a priority and never made Mm -hmm. things priority Mm -hmm. in their life. It's very important. See, making a list of goals is one thing, but making a list of what's important to you, Mm -hmm. what's important to Tyrese, Trayvon, what's important to Anthony, Jermaine, what's important to Evangelist Elaine, or what's important to Dr. Hutch. We all have differences. Right. But what's important to us, the things we like and don't like, Mm -hmm. but the things that mold us because God uh, has us like the potter has the clay. He's mm-hmm. molding us. He's taking off those things that that extra. He's getting us prepared. We're spinning around and we're going round and round. And he's preparing us for something special. That's where loyalty comes to place. Mm-hmm. That's where the outlet for the things that we enjoy, the anger, the frustration, the stress that we have. I like to go shoot pool now. I like to work out, go walk. I like to do those things. Why? Because it releases some stress in my life. I need an outlet. Because the things that's important to me, I need to have a clear mind. I need to be focused. Mm -hmm. And God need me to be ready to be used by him. Folks, make a list of your priorities. What's important to you? Mm -hmm. And how do you say, you may say, but doc, how do I listen to the Lord? How do I know what priorities that he have for me? You know, if you spend time with the Lord, reading scripture and searching and praying, God will give you those things. He'll give it to you in a vision. He may give it to you by word from someone. He may give it to you from the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you and helping you focus on what it is that he has for you. (laughs) See, this is so important that. If you was to back backtrack and you would see your life today is because of the things that you didn't make as a priority that has caused you some heartache. It hurts sometimes, folks. <laughs> it hurts. Who are we? We try to know who we are. And can we see ourselves? What's our family values? It's very important because making a list make that list write it down what's important what do you like you like ice cream you like to go travel you like to do Mm -hmm. things make that list because it's so important your priorities and what's important and what god has for you i thank you for joining us this evening and i hope you can join us next week as we talk about our sixth step (laughs) create and become the person that god wants you to be with us impacting your life with this show. And I hope you will join us next week. And you've been listening to the Dr. Hutch Show on 1220 Beyond, Beyond the, the Word. Word.